Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and since I was out of town on Friday, I didn't get the Q&A video filmed. And there is no Q&A this time because the previous Q&A had a live stream after it that we did the Q&A in, and so pretty much nobody asked questions in the uh, comments. So if you have questions that you would like answered next time, put them in the comment section of this video, and I will get to them next time. So I'm going to be going over the various packages that I've recently received, as well as all of the amazing stuff that I was given at both the UMBC um, HVZ and the uh, Penn State uh, HVZ, which was, both of them were fantastic, especially the, the Penn State one, which was 428 people, I think we had almost 100 auxiliary, uh, absolutely wonderful, wonderful game, had an absolute blast. The video for that will be up when I manage to um, pull myself back to the land of the living and get all of that processed. So, let's take a look. We'll start, of course, with the letters, because I love getting letters. We have one here from Matthew von Norstrand. Dear Captain Zinner, Auxiliary member Matt reporting. Here is the dog tag I sent to you through Facebook. It was... A random dog tag that I found, so I painted the hourglass on it and gave it three rounds of clear coat. It is the last I could, least I could do, seeing as how money is tight with bills and rent. Yeah, that, that'll happen. Uh, this is just to show my appreciation for all that you do. I have learned a lot from your channel and look forward to all of your new content. Keep up the good work. Stay bearded. Bangarang! Matt! Well, there's, there's stamps in here. There's no mention of stamps. And there's no dog tag. So I'm terribly confused. Did it fall out? Did I miss something? What's going on here? Well, anyway, thank you for the letter. Thank you for the stamps. And thank you for the encouragement. Let me know what was supposed to happen. All right, and then we have one here, another one from the Engelstedt, who always send me the coolest stuff. Let's see if I can get in here without damaging the contents. Captain Xavier, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope the day finds you well. Eww, I'm still recovering from my trip, but uh, I will survive. I'm sending you a clowny nerf patch as a way to promote them. They are for sale from Clowney himself and containment crew. Proceeds from their sale will be used to support Nerf community and help pay for shipping of his toy drive giveaway prizes. Enclosed are two patches, one for you and one for you to pass along because half the fun of getting is giving. So I hope you enjoy and let, let's all support our favorite Nerf clown. Your friends, Ryan, Michelle, Greta, and Gabe. Patches! Patches! I've been given clowny patches! How terribly ironic. You shall see why. I will find somebody to pass these along to. I can think of a number of people who I think... I think Jose would definitely love one of these. And I'm sh absolutely sure I can find someone else who would also very much appreciate them. Those are really cool. Look at... Look, look, look at those. Remember, kids, clownies watching. Clowny nerf. Oh, yeah! Buy yourself a clowny nerf patch. Support good causes. Very, very cool. All right, let's get to the boodle. I'm gonna take a look at this one. Cause I don't know what it's in it. Ah, this is from RE Armory in Deutschland. Who uh, also sent me the cool stuff. You all send me the coolest stuff. You are all entirely too cool. What? What do we have? Aha! Hey, Captain. Just a little Kronos care package from a friend in Germany. Cheers, Rene. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What do we have here? We have the Ari Armory Barrel. Very Pretty. Oh, I love this man's work. And we have... Oh, yes! Huh? Ah, falling apart. That. 
I do love me a hand guard. All right, I need a Chronos. This is not the one this is going to end up on, but it will do for now. Oh, that is almost, if not quite, entirely too cool. Look at that. That is pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Yes. All right. What else do we have? I'm not sure what this part is. Oh, okay. Okay. It looks like it's... Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's a Picatinny rail that goes on the top. Uh, it, it screws on the back so you can slide it onto the rail. He's provided the screws for that and that. And if these are what I think they are, they might just be... Oh, they are! That's a T-pole for the back of a Kronos! Look at it! Look at it! That is awesome! And then two other designs! Okay, that, that, that is just amazing. I love this man's work. Look at those. Absolutely gorgeous. And the replacement door, a nice big full one that locks in and doesn't hinge open for quick reload. We also have, I believe, um, simply a bear, or, um, a handle cap as opposed to the full guard in case you don't like hand guards um, handle caps which I really like I don't like having the sling mount in the handle like that I think it makes the grip a little bit harder to grip not so much with these because they are a good solid grip but I do like that so I will have to figure out which one I want to put that on I know which one this is going on um, oh and yeah replacement uh, front rail so Front and back Picatinny rail. That is awesome. All right, I I will quit blathering about how amazing these are until I can uh, do a proper review on them uh, when I install them and we can actually test them and see how well they fit and all of that. Uh, I will try to get that video out this week because those are simply too cool. You spoil me, Renee. You know that, right? Absolutely spoil me. So cool. So cool. All right, we have something here from Sparky the Saint. It's Lego. No one should be surprised by this. In an inside-out Lego box. I like that. Do you know I do? It's another Chima set. Ooh, this one has a bat. Braptor. At least I think it's a bat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's a bat. And another Eris. Pretty sure I have a couple of Eris. Neat. I'm sorry, Sparky. I'm terribly behind on my Lego builds, and I've got e just some really, really cool ones that I want to get built, but I've been simply too busy. I've gotten some of them built, but then never got around to editing them, and then I've got ones that I haven't even gotten around to build, and it may be even longer as a result of things that are happening but one way one day i will get these all built and they will be uploaded and it'll be fabulous so thank you as always for lego i love getting lego all right we got another one here that also sounds suspiciously like happiness oh look at look at look at look 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 rebel fleet trooper tie fighter tie fighter attack neat a really small TIE Fighter. A very simple build. Perfect start. Oh, I see. It's meant to be a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, for young kids, but comes with lots of really cool parts. I dig it. I Are those wings one giant piece? Wow. Neat. Very cool. Awesome. Thank you, as 
always. All right, we've got one more box before we can get to the uh, loot from the trip. We've got this duct taped monstrosity. There's something in here. Oh! Barks. Soda artisanal. Interesting. I'm surprised that survived. Honestly. All right. Apparently, we're still not in. All right. Skittles. Okay. Nope. Green apple. Aha! A note. During an engagement involving the Gremlin Artillery Corps, rather unfortunately, this infant has stopped working. She no longer loads from her autoloader or fires, makes noise, protesting grinding noises whenever you try to do either. Thus, I'm endeavoring to send her to you to see if you can figure out what's screwed up. Bangarang! AAC Lycan, VFBA, and squad leader for the Gremlin Artillery Corps. P.S. I made sure to find the biggest bag of Skittles I could find and some root beer. No one should work on an empty stomach. Well... I'm sure we, I've yet to ever even open one of these. I think I, I have, I have, I have fiddled with them, but I've never actually opened one. So I am looking forward to tinkering and seeing if it's just something jammed in it, some debris maybe. That is the one downside to this particular blaster is I can imagine this thing is real finicky about um, leaves or debris or a dart head or something else getting sucked in there and jamming. Um, I will definitely pop it open and take a look because I wanted to fiddle with one of these anyway because uh, I definitely want to mod one just because they're so beefy and I like a good beefy uh, primary so I want to try to lipo one of these things um, I have thoughts on how to do it fairly easily just using MOSFETs but uh, once I get in there I'll be able to see if just how uh viable that actually is so yeah very cool i will take a look at that when i get a chance hopefully soon if you've sent me something for repair and you haven't seen me repair it do please send me an email reminding me because it may have been put in a pile somewhere and misidentified or forgotten or something i haven't simply stolen your blaster and i'm not giving it back i just have it's chaos here chaos i tell you all right on to the swag from the trip. We will start with the merch, the t-shirts. I was given a UMBC HVZ, and I really like it. I like the gray that they went through. It's thoroughly post-apocalyptically dingy, and then the bloody hand, very cool. I didn't, unfortunately, get there in time to actually play in their game. Um, I ended up, their, their game started at 7, and I landed at eight um because i missed my original flight and had to end up flying standby so uh, i did get there but i got there just at the very tail end of it but i got to meet them and i got to go out to dinner and hear tales of how it went and all of that so uh, and then i got to get to play with m many of them at penn state penn state of course also gave me um a t-shirt the ugc is their uh club name their uh the urban gaming club um <laughs> Wastelander, 99, humans versus zombies, guy in a gas mask being grabbed. Very cool logo, I feel. I really like that. And it's super soft. Very, very nice. Love having more nerdy Nerf shirts to wear. Another super cool item. This one actually wasn't given to me. This one was given to Seamstress at Arms, or was given to me to give to Seamstress at Arms. And it is an embroidered Kampfrau Apron, uh, one of the auxiliary, and I should remember who, but for the life of me, I my brain is so fried, I don't remember anybody's name at this point in my life. I barely remember my own name right now. Um, but they gave me this to pass off to her because they heard that she does the Lange Connect stuff with the SCA and all that and thought that she would appreciate it, and she absolutely will. I showed it to her today in a uh, video chat. Uh, but it's all beautifully smocked and embroidered, uh and has beads and medallions and it's a nice heavy linen i love linen as a fabric uh personally i love the smell of it i love the feel of it i love everything about it so 
I will get this to her as soon the next time I see her, and if that's not going to be for far too long, then I will mail it to her. I may get to see her um, around Easter if I drive to visit family. If I end up flying, then I won't end up seeing her. Uh, but we will see how that plays out. But eventually, I will get it to her, and she would like you to know that she very, very much appreciates it because her two Comfrau dresses are red or green. So the fact that it has red and green embroidery fits magnificently. All right, back to the trip loot. I was given a gobzooka. I think that's what this is anyway. Slime ball and ammunition. It's in the box somewhere. They got two rounds for it. There's one. Yeah. And I've heard they are quite ridiculously powerful if you can overcome the, uh, the safety mechanism that keeps it from working. Which apparently I can't. Anyway, my slime ball seems to be slightly deflated. Anyway, I will definitely do something neat with that. I like it because it looks like something that uh, a Necron would carry, and I always thought their stuff looked really, really cool. Uh, another one that, oh, I, fi I feel so good about finally getting rid of that. I started a Demolisher Firefly integration where I made the Firefly, rather than integrating it, I made it as a removable stock attachment. And it came out really, really good, but it took me forever. Um, and I was it was supposed to be a, a blaster exchange. Um, and he got too busy to finish his, and I got too busy to finish mine, and then we were both going to be at this event, so we finally decided to scramble and get them done so that we could get them into each other. Um, came out great, got it all built, he ran it at the event, I, I, there are pictures of it, um, and I have some of the build footage, but I don't think I bothered to film the, the final internal build, because I was just in too much of a hurry to get rid of this event, but what he made for me... is a guitar strife, where the... Neck of the guitar is, in fact, a barrel, and that is a really long barrel, so I I don't know that there have been any internal upgrades to it yet. Um, doesn't appear to be... Oh, no, there's definitely some upgraded motors in there, but I don't know what. But I will definitely um, crank this thing to the max. I will probably end up putting Krakens in it uh, in order to get enough performance, and I'll need to fix that barrel wobble, but that's an easy, easy fix. Uh, but I really like how it came out. I need to put um, X-Strike logos on it for sure. Possibly a crew logo. That's a really nice shade of orange. Uh, so yeah, I will definitely, hopefully, in the future, be challenging the Sax Man to a duel. Either that or we will form a band of nerfy death. One or the other. But that, I really like how that came out. That came out really, really cool. I like how it the way it's integrated and the fact that the, the barrel is the neck, even though that would hamper performance, I still prefer it. So, what else do we got? I was given two weird off-brand crossbows, one for me to have my wicked way with, and one, of course, for Brett. So he will be getting one of those. I was given a zombie strike pistol, one of the... Uh, Teal ones, which I may go on to give to Walcom because he really likes this color and I prefer the orange ones. But I might keep it just so I have both, because I don't think I have both, because I think I gave the other one to uh, Walcom that I had. I was given some random blastery thing that will not catch. It'll probably end up K26 fodder. We'll see if we can break it. I may have done that one before, though. I don't recall. I got another pirate pistol, because you can never have too many of those to go with my Blackbeard loadout. I will event. I think I've got six or seven or eight of them now. I've got quite a few. Um, I was given a pair of Jolt Reskin knockoffs. Not Jolt Reskins, Jolt Reskin knockoffs. Called Fast Shots. Theta, Power Transfer. All sorts of buzzwords. I like that one. But, yeah, they're Jolts. We'll see what they can do. I was given a really, really cool double strike that somebody modded up to look like a Warhammer 40k sidearm. Got a long barrel. Make it slightly more difficult to reload, but not so much that, it, that it, it's really going to be a hampering. You can, you can easily reload those. But he's added what looks like more of a cylinder on there, added a barrel, and then he's put the eagles on there with the skull and wings, which gives it just a wonderful heft. Um, I will definitely, 
I'm really tempted to put the, uh, the, the metal kit that I was sent by the Germans um, in here just to really round it out. But uh, really like the way they did that paint job, the, the scoring and the, the black and the, it, this thing's been through a lot of war. And I'll, hopefully I can find a holster that will fit it nicely um, because I, I really, really, really like that. So that, that was one of my favorites. <clears throat> ah, another gobzooka bowl. I was given this foam dagger. Uh, but they just, they wanted to make me a foam dagger, which I didn't have any melee with me because neither of the groups allowed melee for HVZ except for zombies. But, uh, the role I ended up playing, um, at the Penn State HVZ, I was kind of playing an NPC. Um, I did have the opportunity to occasionally play a zombie, in which case I was allowed to use a dagger and I did, in fact, end up shanking Corporal Armor in the final stand. And there was an absolutely magnificent picture of me coming up behind him and and murdering him, murder, murder, murdered many a person with it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I actually, I really like that design. That blade profile is really, really wicked, and I like it. And then, of course, the orange and black. Yeah, definitely usable. I will definitely be carrying this at Afterworlds, um, by hook or by crook. I will have that with me at Afterworlds, because that's definitely Afterworlds legal. I was given a pair of single-point slings. Uh, one in orange and black, and one in black and orange. Uh, this one looks like it's using original um, Nerf sling um, hooks, and then this one just has regular black carabiners. Um, but I, as you know, favor single-point slings, and these ones are slightly more universal than the ones I usually use, which have the clip-in, which is convenient, um, because you can just quick-release them. But these ones... Um, I could use on any blaster, and uh, I really like the color. So these will be going on whatever extra vests I have so that I can uh, just easily use any blaster that I'm handed. So nice and heavy, very sturdy, are never going to fall apart. I like them. Very, very cool. I like that pattern. Um, I made off with both my bandanas, my zombie bandana as well as my human bandana. I didn't actually mean to. <laughs> Um, the, the human one was just attached to my vest, and then the zombie one I had in a pocket so I could put it on if I needed it, and I wandered off with them. I got another popper! This is actual hog wild, and it is a sloth that shoots the ball out the top of the tree he's on. And I love his smirk. He is smirking, a smirking sloth. I like that. I was given some chain mail. I've lost the loot box. I was given a chainmail um, single point sling, which is also just super cool in a weave that I am familiar with. It's aluminum, so it's nice and light. Again, it has carabiner, so it's universal. Same fellow gave me a chainmail uh, keychain uh, in a standard box Byzantine weave that I'm also familiar with. Again, um, aluminum, so it's very, very light. Uh, and he also gave me one of the one of the cooler items, which I now have to fish off the floor. I was given a pirate, or a castle skeleton king looking fellow. I thought that one was pretty cool. Skeleton king. Always love getting Lego. Someone gave me Viking Jerks Carpathian Forest Beard Oil. I have never in my life used beard oil, and I'm actually really looking forward to giving it a try sometime. I'll have to let my beard grow out a little. next. Uh, I will save this until next winter when I grow out my, my winter coat again. I was Here was another one that was really cool. Somebody found in package Nerf, uh, old school Nerf Mega Whistlers. Pristine condition, still in package, and I will probably leave them there. Because this could be one of the few packs of these still in existence in their packaging, so... Yeah, gonna be hanging that on a wall somewhere. That is super, super cool. This, I believe, was given to me by uh, now Corporal uh, Fusco. Very, very cool. All right. I was given a Blair County House of Nerf sticker. Very cool. I was given a patch. I don't remember... Boomstick. Boomstick mods, I believe. 
Yes. It's a 3D printed patch with his logo. Very cool. Um, I also received This Is My Boomstick patch, which is awesome because I love that movie like everybody else. And I will have to put that on whatever I use for my uh, shotgun loadout. Oh, I have a shotgun holster. I have several shotgun holsters that I will definitely be putting this on a shotgun holster. So that is super, super cool. And uh, the reason I said they're being sent to uh, Clowny Patches was ironic, was I met Clowny was at um, Penn State, and he gave me a patch. So I'll be keeping the one that he sent me, and then I will give away both of the ones that the Engelstead sent me, because that is super cool. I made off with a couple of these. <laughs> um, at uh, UMBC, they've got a game where they just try to clip these to people, and that's their sneaky assassin ways. And they managed to get three clipped to me before I even noticed, which is impressive. Uh, and I said, I'm keeping them. So I did. So far. I got a, a care package from um, Jean Bordeaux, who does all of the auxiliaries, name tags, and patches, and all of that super cool business. He sent me a care package with my Captain Xavier name tag, as well as a Captain and a Xavier larger separate ones, which are on my heavy gear. This one went on the light gear that I wore at this event. He also sent me um, hourglass patches and officer patches for NCO patches for the auxiliary, as well as a whole bunch of just the auxiliary logo patches, ones with fancy borders and one without. Um, told me sent me those to sell, which I did. I sold almost every one of them. I ended up selling a whole bunch of patches at uh, during the course of this event, which was lovely because it helped pay for food, which is nice because I don't like to starve. So thank you everyone who sold who bought patches. Um, be sure to check out my merch video if you want more merch because Seamstress at Arms has stuff and uh, Jean has stuff and I'm selling stuff and yeah, there's there's merch to be had if you want merch. So be aware of that. The th same person who gave me the um, chainmail stuff also gave me this amazing piece of work. It is scale mail, ring lord scale mail. With the hourglass. He's made a whole bunch of them with the auxiliary logo, which also fits beautifully onto uh, this particular shape and um, is easy to pattern in scale. He obviously couldn't really do my logo in scale. It just wouldn't, probably wouldn't look quite right. You might be able to pull it off, but it wouldn't be nearly as, as clear and obvious as the hourglass is. Um, and he was going to do it with the hourglass in orange because black and orange are my colors, but luckily somebody pointed out that no, the hourglass is white. So it needs to be silver, because that's how heraldry works. And they managed to convince him, and I'm glad that they did, because I agree the hourglass should be white. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to attach it, and what loadout I want to attach it to. So they had theirs attached to their plate carriers with grommets. I will probably attach uh, this to leather, and then attach leather or Velcro to the leather, so that I can attach it that way, so it'll be more modular, so I can just rip it off. Um, and uh, they mentioned that if I, I managed to find an easy and clear-cut way to do that to let them know, because a number of them wanted to do something similar. Uh, but the, this is beautiful, beautiful work. It's scales held together by rings. The rings are not, in fact, going through each other. They only go through the scales, but each scale has four rings through it that attach it to four other. So it's a, a four-in-one pattern, kind of. Uh, and actually, um, Sir Elric... Lord Elric, Duke Elric, in the Empire of Adria, had a shirt of this that he fought in. So, yeah, it's good stuff. Absolutely beautiful. A whole bunch of people had these on their sleeves, and you'll see them uh, in the pictures and then the videos, hopefully, uh, when I get around to that. So, super, super cool. Like I said, amazing stuff. And the final... Oh, there's another patch. I did get a UMBC HVZ patch. Um... And it's, it's a little more difficult to tell what the logo is. Um, those are supposed to be handprints. Apparently it's more obvious on the t-shirt where when it was in blood that it was a, a splat with hands. Um, but it didn't quite come out in the gold quite what you were looking for. But maybe you can see that those are hands from there, clearly. Anyway, I have more patches, patches, patches galore. I, if I were to make a suit that could actually have all of the patches on it that I've been given, I'd look like an NASCAR driver, which is awesome. As they are, they're kind of spread out all over anything that I have that has Velcro on it so that I can get them all on something somewhere. So, final item, because this was 
I don't want to say my favorite, but it was definitely, definitely up there. Somebody got me a Lego ship in a bottle. And I saw this set at the Lego store and was really tempted to get it, but talked myself out of it. And I guess I'm glad I did because they decided to get it for me. Fantastic and magnificent, and I cannot wait to build it. Uh, because it is just entirely too cool looking. I mean, look, it's a ship in a bottle. So, yeah, this will be getting built and put on display in a place of honor someday. Leviathan. Sweet. So much detail. So much little detail in this that I absolutely love. All right, so that is the loot. So much cool stuff. You guys are absolutely amazing. Running with the auxiliary, with that many auxiliary and that large of an event was absolutely fantastic. I had so much fun, so many good bangerangs, and uh, that footage will be up soon. So, there you have it. If you feel like sending me stuff, because so many of you seem to feel like sending me stuff, the mailing address is down in the description. If you have any kinds of questions, there are all sorts of emails down there for you to, e to contact. Um, commission email, the uh, review email, or the, the yeah reviews if you want me to review something. Um, the nerf email address if you just have a general question, which I'm trying to keep caught up on my emails and I'm not doing a terribly great job, but things will hopefully settle out someday. They're not going to do I'm going to have to go to secretary. Anyway, thank you all so much, as always. And uh, thank you for watching, and bangerang!